I've said this many times before, and I always get challenged on it, so I figured I'd do a short video explaining why I have no need for an atheist community, and honestly, I don't really think one exists anyhow. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Atheism, as I explained back in my What is Atheism video, is a lack of or the rejection of belief in gods. There's nothing else to it. It has no positive attributes. It tells you nothing about what the individual does, only what they do not do. The moment you start talking about anything positive, you're no longer talking about atheism. You're talking about something else entirely. Keep in mind that when I say positive, I'm not attaching any sort of value judgment. I'm not saying that atheism is good or bad. In fact, it is entirely neutral. There is literally nothing of substance that you can attach to atheism. It makes no claims. It has no creeds. It has no rules. It is an entirely empty proposition because there's literally nothing to it. It takes what theists claim, finds them lacking, and therefore rejects them. That is the entirety of atheism. Therefore, I find the idea of getting together with a bunch of atheists for no reason other than being atheists to be absurd. It's like joining a club of non-stamp collectors and doing nothing and talking about nothing but your lack of interest in stamp collecting. You'd have an empty room. But there are lots of people who disagree. Lots of atheists who claim that they want to have this ambiguous atheist community or go to atheist churches or join atheist organizations and that there are lots of things they could do there. They can talk about humanism, they can debate against theists, and they can listen to presentations by scientists, all of which are entirely true. But that's not an atheist club that they're attending. That's a humanist club, or a debate club, or a science club. You've lost the atheism entirely. But wait, some will say, everyone in attendance is an atheist, so that makes it an atheist club. No. You might all share this particular neutral trait, but that has nothing to do with the reason that you're there. You're there to do something else. Claiming that it's an atheist club is like claiming that it's a non-top hat wearing club, just because nobody shows up in a top hat. As I've explained in my video on labels, words have to mean something, because if they don't, we really have no means to facilitate concise and understandable communication. And that's the whole reason to bother with language in the first place. We need to stamp the proper labels on our foreheads if we want people to understand why we do what we do. We cannot just bundle up all of our philosophical and political positions under a common label and expect to be understood. Hey, it's great that you're going to have a game night at your local club or that you're going to invite Richard Dawkins to speak about evolution. More power to you! But these are not atheist activities. These are activities being undertaken by people who just so happen to be atheists. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that any of these activities are wrong. I'm not against humanism. I'm not against people fighting for the separation of church and state. I'm not against debating theists or listening to a good speaker. I'm probably on board with most of those things and I'd be happy to lend a hand. I'm just against rolling them all up under a label that is really pretty meaningless when you think about it. In the end, atheism is just a response to theism. If nobody believed in gods, if nobody demanded adherence to some supernatural dude in the sky, there'd be no reason to say we're atheists. When the world finally gets a clue and people stop believing in ridiculous religions, the need for such a term as atheism will go away completely. There's no longer any reason to express our opposition to something that simply doesn't exist. That's really what I want to see happen. I'd like to never have to refer to myself as an atheist again. And I hope most atheists feel the same way. You've also got the issue that claiming to have an atheist church or an atheist political party gives ammunition to theists who can and have used it against us. I'm not saying that people can't have a desire to socialize on a Sunday morning. I'm saying that you're making us all look bad because of your chosen terminology. Call it a secular meetup. Nobody is there because of their atheism. 
and nobody is there because they want to be in a church. Put words together that make sense. And yes, I know that the name of the so-called atheist church is Sunday Assembly, but far too many people, far too many non-believers, have called it an atheist church and played right into the hands of the irrational theists. So there you have it. Why I think there's no such thing as an atheist community. That's not to say that there are no communities, or that I object to people coming together to obtain various and sundry social and political goals. But atheism isn't a goal. It isn't a belief. It isn't a religion. It isn't anything. And the sooner it goes away entirely, the sooner that common sense and reason have returned to this small planet, the better for all of us. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed what I said. And if not, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. The more of you spread the word, the more people I have tuning in, the more videos I'll produce. Please visit my blog for lots more content and listen to my podcast, The Bitch Spot Report, to get a view of religion, society, and politics from a conservative atheist perspective. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you all soon.